It has been a hot minute since I've had a burger and probably at least two hot minutes since I made a video about a burger, even though that's kind of like, we did that a lot when we first moved here, lots of weird Japanese burger videos. But um, I was thinking about this and I was like, I don't know if we've ever made a video about a burger from Burger King. Usually it was at McDonald's or Lotteria or some of the other burger chains and stuff. And for some reason we've neglected Burger King and maybe somebody else is gonna remember a video that we made at Burger King that I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure we have it. But we have one that's really close to where we live now, like literally a block away. And I was walking by it a couple days ago and I saw a sign outside that said they had a, what was it, an ugly, ugly beef burger, I think is what the name of the burger is, which is this kind of a strange name for a burger. The ugly part specifically. We've come in here and we've got an ugly beef burger. In fact, we have a deuce of ugly beef burgers. <laughs> and I thought we would give it a go. All I really know about it is the name and that the reason that it is ugly is because it has got some cheese on it. So that's what I'm expecting to happen when I get into this. So, it's supposed to, it's about to be a, a hideous burger. So the thing is, let me, let me, let me throw this out there, is like Japanese food, even at like fast food restaurants, it usually looks exactly like the picture. So like they're kind of famous for things looking not ugly. So to see them boasting about the ugliness is sort of a surprise. Um, so here we are, boom. And it is a bit ugly. It, what it reminds me of is a beef and cheddar from Arby's, that kind of, that kind of vibe. But I think that has like onions on the bun but uh, this has cheese and I know it's cheese and a blind man can tell you it was cheese because the smell of cheese is quite strong. Like, it's really cheesy. It smells like a grilled cheese sandwich exploding. Other than that, it looks like it is just kind of a standard burger. It is, I think it's kind of ugly. I mean, it's got cheese on it. I don't know, I don't know if I call, I don't know if I call brother ugly, but uh, yeah, it's a little sloppy, I suppose. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about this, even though it's not super strange, it's not like a blue burger or something, sometimes Japan does crazy stuff. I'm kind of excited about this just because of the cheeseness. And I'm excited, but I'm also prepared to be let down because Japan doesn't cheese well usually. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's some onions, there's some tomatoes, and some lettuce. It looks like your normal Burger King jam. Uh, I don't come into Burger King very often. We've lived near this one for a couple years. This is my first time inside. Let's get into it. I get why they're calling it an ugly burger. I think the people in marketing could have been cleverer. Pay people more people. Because you're getting you're getting bad people. I mean, I know we're in here, but I'm, I'm disappointed in the advertisement of the ugly because this could have been a lot uglier. Just throw me a name. What do you got? I, I think it about the idea of cherry on top and like the cheese on top or something like that. That's just, that's just what I was thinking of. Give me a little time and money and I'll give you something. <laughs> but <laughs> at the moment, I'm just gonna give you my two cents and uh, have a bite of this burger. Like I said, it's been a long time since I had Burger King. But the Burger King has kind of got a distinct flavor, like their Whopper type of flavor. The meat, the way that everything kind of dances together is different than a McDonald's burger or, you know, uh, Arby's burger, well, obviously different, you know, Carl's Jr., etc. They all kind of have the different vibe. This still maintains that vibe. Yeah, that's Burger King like a max. Um, my enjoyment of this is going to be biased because I've been waiting since February to eat a Burger King burger. It is September. And I was in America. There's Burger Kings everywhere. And I kept mentioning to people, like, let's go to Burger King. They'd be like, Burger King? Why are we going to Burger King? You're only here for like two months or whatever. So everybody just turned down my Burger King stuff. Like to the point that I would go, yeah, you know, we have them in Japan, but I guess I just thought I'd find a Burger King enthusiast amongst my friends, never found one. And then I come home and I tell Eric I want to eat at Burger King and he's like, mm, I don't think so, until now. And uh, I am thoroughly going to enjoy this. Uh, when he said this morning we're going to Burger King, there were no if, ands, or buts about it. I was definitely going. The cheese flavor is, it's there. It's almost more of a smell, I think, than it is a flavor. Um, it's a little bit of like a, it's not, it's not like a sharp thing or anything. It's like a sharp cheese, but there's a little bit of bite to it. But it kind of just reminds me of the normal cheese game that you get in Japan. Trying to get a little more into the ugly. 
it's pretty good. Um, I don't know how much better it is than a Whopper is. Because other than the ugliness, it's basically just a Whopper. I think that the cheese is good. I think it's on point. The burger underneath is your classic Burger King burger, and I am pleased with a little more cheese on top. That's what you should call it. A little more cheese on top. It was like, what, seven bucks or eight bucks or something? It's okay. I mean, the burger itself is fine, but the addition of the ugly, I'd say it's probably mostly just a marketing play. <laughs> Fine. Success. <laughs> yeah, success. We do them. <laughs> but it's not like we have to joke back something nasty, so I think we got it. <laughs> and I got to thinking, I don't think we've ever done a burger about... <laughs> I don't think we've ever done... <laughs> I did the same thing. Over the past few weeks, we've been running a fundraiser for a new camera setup. If you'd like to help us get to our goal on that, which we're getting really close to, you can check out the links below. Also, we have an Amazon wish list that you can go to if you want to contribute some little odds and ends to our project. But most of all, Patreon is the best place to get involved with everything that is Katie and Eric. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tell us about the ugliest food you've ever eaten down in the comments. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links below.